Welcome students to class 4 maths lesson 1 session 3 on numbers and number names. Now before we go further let us first discuss the solutions of worksheet 2 which was given to you in the previous video. Those of you who have not seen the previous video I request you to see session 1 and session 2 before you see this session 3 video. First question in the worksheet was counting by 5's write the numbers from 16225 to 16245. So here we will take the first number which is 16225 and add 5 to it. We will get 16230. Now we will take 16230 and add 5 to it again. We will get 16235. Now we will take 16235 and add 5 to it. Now these three numbers that we have got 16230, 16235 and 16240 form our answer and we will write it like this. The B part 89421 to 89441. Here again we will add 5 to the first number which is 89421. And we will get 89426. Then we will take 89426, add 5 to it, we will get 89431. Again, we will take 89431 and add 5 to it, we will get 89436. We will stop here because if we add again, we will get the last number in the question which is 89441. Question number 2. Counting by tens. Write the numbers from 88830 to 88860. Here we will take the first number 88830 and add 10 to it. We will get 88840. Then we will take 88840 and add 10 to it again. We will get 88850. We will write the answer like this. The B part 42316 to 42346. We will take the first number and add 10 to it. We will get 42326. Then we will take 42326 and add 10 to it. We will get 42336. Question number 3. Counting by hundreds, write 5 numbers starting from 72230. Here we have to generate 5 numbers and only the first number is given to us. So we will take the first number and we will add 100 to it. 72230 plus 100 gives us 72330. Then we will take 72330 and add 100 to it and we will get 72430. Now we will take 72430 and add 100 to it. We will get 72530. Now we will take 72530 and add 100 to it. Like this we have generated 4 terms. We need 1 more. So we will take 72630 and add 100 to it. We will get 72730. So we have got all our 5 terms or the 5 numbers. So then we will write the answer. This question is very similar to the previous question. In the previous question we had to write numbers between the two numbers. Here the starting number is given to us and we have to find out 5 numbers after that. The B question 46512. Here again I have directly written the answer. We will add 100 to the first term given to us. We will get 46612. Then we'll add 100 to 46612. We will get 46712. We'll add 100 to 46712. We will get 46812. When we add 100 to 46812, we get 46912. And when we add 100 to 46912, we get 47012. In this particular case, the hundreds place was changing in the first four numbers. But in the fifth number, if you see, the 
thousands place as well as the hundreds place have changed why because when we add 100 to 46912 we get 47012 question number 4 counting by thousands write four numbers starting from 81655 now we will add 1000 to the number given to us 81655 plus 1000 will give us 82655 then we will take 82655 and add 1000 to it we will get 83655 now we will take 83655 and add 1000 to it we will get 84655 now we will add 1000 to 84655 and we will get 85655. We will stop here because we have got our four numbers and we will write our answer like this. Next one we have 52982. Now we will take this number and add 1000 to it. We will get 53982. Then we will take 53982 and add 1000. We will get 54982. Then we will add 1000 to 54982. We will get 55982. Then we will add 1000 to 55982. And we will get 56982. Question 5. Write the smallest number of 5 digit. It is 1 followed by 4 zeros. 10,000. Next one is smallest number of 6 digit. It is 1 followed by 5 zeros, which is 1 lakh. Next one, thousands in 1 lakh. How many thousands are there in 1 lakh? We have to answer. We have 100 thousands in 1 lakh. Now for that, I will explain it a little. 1 lakh is written as 1 0 0 0 0 0. That is 5 zeros. Now let us keep 1 lakh aside and look at some numbers. If you see 9000, it is 9 followed by 3 zeros. Then 10,000 is 10 followed by 3 zeros. So this if we say 100,000, 100,000 will be 100 followed by 3 zeros. That is why we call 1 lakh has 100,000. Okay, this brings us to the end of the solutions. Now we move to the next part which is reading and writing of 6 digit numbers. For reading and writing of numbers, I have taken an example. The number is 678907. The first thing that we will do is we will place commas according to the periods. To help you with that, I have placed the place value chart here. So that you can see the units period has three columns. That means we have to take the last three numbers in the units period. Then thousands has two numbers. So next two numbers will go into the thousand period. Likewise the lakhs period. So the number we will write it as 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 7. So now this makes reading of the number so easy. You can look at the number, the periods that it is reflecting and read the number. The place value chart that I had put, the first row shows us the periods. And the second row shows us the place values. Now we will write the number names as per the periods. So first period here when you see the number is lakhs period. 6 is falling under the lakhs period. So we will say 6 lakhs. Then after 6 we have next two numbers in the period of 1000. So 7 and 8 under 1000 we will say 78,000. And under units period we have 907. So we will read it as 907. So the number name will be 6,78,907. Now this was according to periods. You can also read the numbers as per the place value. 6 is in the lakhs column as per place value. So 6 lakhs. 7 is under the 10,000 column. 7 ten thousands. 8 thousands. 9 hundreds, zero tens, seven ones. Now this is when you have a number and you have to 
read or write that number. But what happens if vice versa is given to you? If the number is given in words, let's see how we convert it to a numeral. 6,78,907 Draw the place value chart. Then read the number. First thing is 6 lakhs. So in the chart, under lakhs column, you will write 6. Next comes 78,000. So in the thousands period, we have 10,000 and 1,000. Under 10,000, you will write 7. Under 1,000, you will write 8. Then we have 900. Under hundreds column, you will write 9. 7. Then you will directly go to the ones column and write 7. Now here we notice in the tens column, we have not entered anything. So there you will write 0. So your number is formed. Now this is the other way of writing the number. So let us write this also in the same table below this. 6 lakhs. So under lakhs we have 6, 7, 10,000. Under 10,000 we will write 7, 8,000. Under 1,000 we will write 8, 9 hundreds. Under 100 we will write 9, 0 tenths. So under tens we will write zero, seven ones. Under ones column we will write seven. So whichever way it is given in words, we can convert it into numerals. All right, students. Now let us do a worksheet to check our understanding. Worksheet number three. Question one: Write the numerals in the place value table. The numeral four ten thousands. Five thousands, three hundreds, zero tens, eight ones. The B part, eight ten thousands, zero thousands, zero hundreds, nine tens, four ones. To solve this question, first you will draw the place value chart and then you will write the numerals under the respective columns. Your number will be formed. Question number 2. Fill in the blanks with the correct numerals. A part 86075. You have to fill in how many ten thousands, how many thousands, how many hundreds, how many tens and how many ones. The B part 42306. Here again you will do the same process. Question 3. Write the number names. Here I want you to first put the commas as per the place value chart and then you should write the number names. 7, 2, 2, 3, 0. B, 4, 6, 5, 1, 2. C, 7, 0, 0, 0, 7. 3, 9, 0, 0, 0. Question number 4. Write the following numbers in figures. 94,094. B, 7,942. C, 60,900. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. Good luck with your worksheet and until we meet again, stay safe, stay happy.